Hello, I'm Madman, and yes, it does sound like I have throat cancer. Batman Begins is directed by Christopher Nolan. It stars Christian Bale, Katie Holmes, Michael Caine, and Liam Neeson. Just to let you guys know, this is part of my series for Batman and Superman. Before Batman vs. Superman Donald Justice comes out, I'm reviewing my favorite Batman and Superman movie. So, yeah, we have gotten so far to Batman and Superman, and now we get to Batman Begins. Next week, I'll be doing Man of Steel, The Dark Knight Rises, and even a little bit of a special film which I kind of view as a guilty pleasure. So like you guys know, there, if you have not seen Batman Begins, there will be a few minor spoilers in there, but if you're afraid of that, then just to so let you guys know, spoiler alert. Now, Batman Begins Before I Saw the Dark Knight was my favorite Batman movie of all time. Everything I love about Batman is in Batman Begins. One thing I love about is the style. I love the dark style that Christopher Nolan went with in this movie of darkness, and I just, I love how, one of the things I really like is how they turn the city of Chicago into Gotham City. Now, this city and used in the movie was the city of Chicago, but they turned into Gotham City so well with it. Another thing I really like, without a doubt, was Christian Bale as Batman. Whenever I see Christian Bale in the Batman costume, I, in the Batman suit, I see him as Batman. I mean, I don't see the others. I mean, yes, he does. It does look a bit kind of army-ish and a bit kind of metal-ish, but it's a suit. Really? Does it matter? If it doesn't have any nipples or shiny plates of gold, it's fine! It's a suit! I mean, does it really matter? It's a suit! But all, overall, Christian Bale, what I love about Batman, is that he brings such a humanized character to Batman. If you don't know, before Batman Begins, we never really had an origin story for any other superhero before, before Batman Begins. And that's one thing I like about Christian Bale, it shows the human side of Batman a bit, and it also shows the human side of Bruce Wayne. Another thing I really like about this movie is that in the storyline, it shows why Bruce Wayne became Batman, so he could fulfill his father's duty after he died so that he can prove to his people of Gotham that they don't have to live in fear of the criminals and the corrupts. Another thing I really like about this movie is Gary Oldman as Commissioner Gordon. I love Commissioner Gordon, he's a great character and I love him very well, and Gary Oldman did perfectly as a character, because he really brought the side of humanity, the side of hope, that maybe there could be a side of Gotham that could be good. That's one thing I like about Commissioner Gordon. Another thing I really like about this movie is the action. I do like the action scenes and here they're done really well. Some parts are a bit shaky, but I do like the action. The action was very moving and fast paced. One of my favorite scenes in here for action is the final train chase scene. A lot of people I've heard and talked to about this movie have said, eh, that was kind of dumb, I mean we have to stop a train? I actually thought it was a good idea, because it fell for fast paced action. That's one of my favorite action. Action is fast paced action. This action without fast paceness is kind of boring, I gotta be honest. It's kind of boring without fast paced action, so I think the ending really did a well, very well done job. I think the ending did a very good job of delivering fast paced action constantly throughout the movie. The other thing I really liked about this movie was Michael Caine as Alfred. He did a great job as Alfred. He really brought this grandpa type of style to Bruce. He was like this grandpa, he's like this grandpa of Bruce Wayne, you know to show that there is still some good signs of him and his father that's still left in him to believe in. So that's what I like about Michael Caine as Alfred. Another one of my favorite parts about this movie is the first half. The first half where it shows Batman's origin is excellent. It's so freaking well done. It shows Bruce Wayne's human side. It shows his conflictions. It shows him training with Liam Neeson's character, Razel, who is secretly Razel Ghoul. But still, he did such a good job. Christopher Nolan did such a good job. Uh, with the first half of this movie and the origin story. They did such a well job. Another thing I really liked about this movie was the music. The music was very fast paced in there. I mean, yes, it, it's a different score than the Batman. I do kind of like this score a bit more than the one in 1980, than the one score in Batman 1989, just because the score in here is just more fast paced. It's more exciting and it's more thrilling. You caught up in the action easier than the one in 1989. I mean, I love the one in 1989's Batman by Danny Elfman, but I think the one by Hans Zimmer. I think it's just a tiny bit better. Now one of my favorite scenes in this movie is the scene where Bruce Wayne is determining his training as a member of a League of Shadows. One of my favorite parts about the scene is when he opens the chest and the fear toxin gets all around him and he sees a bunch of bats. And what I like about it is that he looks up and accepts that he has to become his fear as the Batman. You know, because to me personally that represents him taking on the fear and becoming like the bats to become the Batman.
Another one of my favorite parts about this movie that I think is very underrated, Morgan Freeman, of course, as Lucius Fox. Everything Morgan Freeman is, he's always the best part. Let's face it, Morgan Freeman is one of the greatest actors who ever lived. I love Morgan Freeman. The dude is freaking awesome. I mean, he's the dude is freaking awesome. Now, I will admit this about Batman's voice. His voice is a bit different. It does sound like Bill Cass like, He talks like this about almost the entire movie. Well, not almost the entire movie, but it just was a bit different than we've gotten from the previous Batman movies. I mean, there's a scene. This scene is a bit. Now, now this scene, I will. Now, the scene I'm about to show you, I did kind of laugh at. I did find it intimidating, but I kind of laughed at because it was a bit much about it. Where were the other drugs going? Uh, 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 I never knew. I don't know. I swear to God. Swear to me! Went to the drop off point. It was in the narrows. Cops only go there when they're in force. Do I look like a cop? Stop! Now, there was one thing about this movie that I thought was a bit kind of good. It was Katie Holmes' Rachel Dawes. She did a good job as Rachel Dawes. She, like, repelled the character. She introduced the character very well. She did setting the character well of her background. I thought she did a good job. Uh, but not a great one compared to the other actors in this movie. In the end, I'll work all, all guys. Batman Begins is one of my favorite Batman movies of all time. It had great action, a great storyline. Christian Bale was great as Batman. Gary Oldman did extremely well as Commissioner Gordon. Michael Caine brought a very good grandpa sense to Alfred. The music was great. The directing style was perfect for what Batman needed to be. It is the movie that got us out of the crap that was Batman and Robin, and it was the saving grace of the Batman franchise. It's the movie that made Batman what he is today. I give Batman Begins without a freaking doubt an A+. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching my review for Batman Begins. If you like the video, if you really like down below, of well, course, you guys do. How you seen Batman Begins? What did you think about? Whatever your thoughts, comment down below. Let me know. Anyways, guys, I'm the Movie Guy, and I'm signing out.